Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. There's no time to waste, so here's the verse of the day. And it's 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 2. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Yeshua HaMashiach, the rock, Jesus Christ. The red words, Luke 21, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And this is where we left off last, family. The heavens declare the glory of God. And it's obvious the Revelation 12 sign, the Revelation 12 sign is written in the stars. Verse 1, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And her crown is not in a different constellation. It's not in what they call Leo, the lion. Right around her head, there's Virginie stars all around her head, and there is twelve of them right in the vicinity of her crown of her head. And remember, John, he was caught up, to heaven and ate the little book and came back and wrote this revelation and upon her head a crown of 12 stars could literally represent the 12 tribes of Judah family. Daniel 12, 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Revelation 12, verse 2. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And as you can see on the Revelation 12 sign, the asteroid, which in Stellarium they call it a planet, on the internet it's called an asteroid. The asteroid child is being born. Verse 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And same thing, we know the Antichrist sets up ten kings to rule the world after the rapture and has seven crowns upon his heads. Ten and seven equals seventeen. In Agenda 2030, there's seventeen agendas. Verse 4, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And the United Nations represents the dragon and the United Nations asteroid is two days ahead of the child standing before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Verse 5, And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up unto God, and to his throne. And the reason why I'm going over that is because originally it looked like the child was being born on the Feast of Trumpets, September 15th, because that's when the child crosses the line. But that's before the Revelation 12 sign happens. And biblically, the birth happens after the Revelation 12 sign. So all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Let me shed some light on this. These lines are imaginary lines. And biblically, the birth and the child being caught up doesn't happen until after the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet. So biblically, there's no way the rapture could happen until after the Revelation 12 sign. So if this is the Revelation 12 sign, the last one, biblically, the rapture cannot happen until after the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet. And as you can see, on September 19th, the woman is clothed with the sun. And our sister, Lydia, who was famous for her purple dye and clothing, is clothing the woman with the sun. And the moon is under her feet with the asteroid Yeshua, which is like Yeshua, the Son, and Yahuwah, the Father, combined, along with the asteroid Miriam. And I did some research, and Jesus' mom, Mary, her name was Miriam. Her original name was Miriam. And remember, Moses' sister, Miriam, she's known for helping deliver baby Moses. 
on the Nile. So they're all down there by the moon, the father, the son, Mary and Miriam, waiting for the child to be born. And most of you know about the star Spica. It represents the wheat. And of course, the wandering star Mars, they call planet Mars, the red planet, is right there too. Next to the asteroid 666, the number of the beast. And the asteroid Didymos is right there too. I'm about to show you. And a whole lot more, all glory to our Father. And that asteroid Didymos last year in September, it was smashed into by NASA by a satellite to change it from being Earth directed. So NASA changed this asteroid's course, the course that God had it on. And I believe now it's on a collision course and it will hit something. Now brace yourself, it's about to get gigantinormous. And you've seen the title, Whoa, False Prophet Francis in the Revelation 12 sign 2 with the United Nations. And I showed you, it was Eleanor Helen who discovered 4580 Child in 1989. The same year as the big quake, the World Series earthquake. So I was doing some research on Eleanor Helen. And remember, this peace and security, peace and safety, seven-year covenant with many is on the same day as the Revelation 12 sign, September 18th and 19th. And I seen a bunch of comments saying that Pope Francis is going to be at the summit. So I did some research and Pope Francis, the false prophet, he actually endorsed Agenda 2030. On September 25th in 2015, Pope Francis endorsed Agenda 2030. Now back to Eleanor Helen, the astronomer who discovered the asteroid child. She also discovered the asteroid Francis, 2050 Francis. And as you can see right there, she named it after her parents, Fred and Kay Francis. And there it is, right there. 2050 Francis right next to the woman right where they've been jabbing people and when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 2050 in Greek the definition is a making desolate a desolation devastation that results from being cut off so now in the Revelation 12 sign on September 18th and 19th the same day as the covenant with many for peace and security agenda 2030 at United Nations on September 18th, 19th, at the same time when the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet with Yeshua and Miriam, we have the dragon, the United Nations. We have the beast, 666. And now we have the false prophet, Pope Francis. Asteroid 2050, that means desolation and devastation. But it don't stop there. It's stacked, and it just keeps stacking up, family. Check it out. Right down by her feet, by the moon, by Yeshua, by Miriam, is a comet, 130P, McNaught Hughes. And when you look up the meaning of McNaught, it means pure, and Hughes means soul, mind, or intellect. But here's what's gigantinormous. And I put it in red, 130p, because when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 130, the definition is shedding of blood. Exactly what Jesus Christ did for us. And then we got two comments named Botini, like boat. And at the top, you could see that one was discovered in 2010, they call U3. Like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then there's another boat right between 130P and Spica. And it's called 340P Botini. And when you go to Strong's for 340, the definition in Greek is to renew. I make fresh again, renew, restore. And right at the top between U3 Botini and Francis is a comment, 180p, neat. And when you go to 180 in Bible Strong's Concordance, the definition is a stream, river, like the river of life. And we're about to set sail. 
And right under that is a comment 173P Mueller. And when you go to Bible Strong's Concordance for 173 in Hebrew, the definition is tent of the high place. And we got two comments named Shepherd. One is under the United Nations called B4 Shepherd. And the other one is up with the sun, 452P Shepherd, Jewett. And when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 452, the definition is Elijah. And we know Malachi chapter 4 verse 5 says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And we know that Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 17 verse 12 said, But I say unto you that Elijah is come already, and they knew him not. But have done unto him whatsoever they listed, likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Verse 13, Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. John the Baptist, his cousin, that prepared the way for the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua. And now there's a comment right next to the son named 452P, Shepherd Jewett. In 452 in Bible Strong's Concordance, the transliteration is Elijah, and the definition is Yah is God, a well-known prophet of Israel. And right under that is a comment called 321. And when you go to Bible Strong's Concordance for 321, the definition is to lead up, bring up. I lead up, bring up, offer, produce, put to sea, set sail. And when you look at the exhaustive concordance, the word comes from Anna, and Anna means up. And I saved the best for last, family. Comment 362P, right underneath 321, right above the beast, 362P. This comment, when you look up Strong's Concordance for 362, the definition is to await, I await. One whose coming is expected, family. And when you scroll down, 362 comes from 303. Anna, up. And there's only one Bible occurrence. And it's 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10. Exactly what we're doing. And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. And I'll give you one more before I go. And it's Kelvala, 1454 Kelvala. And it's right by the other arm where they jab people. 1454 Kelvala. And when you go to Bible Strong's Concordance for Greek 1454, the definition is a rousing, a rising from death, a waking up, the resurrection family.